Hi guys, thanks for tuning in again. I did a review of the... Well, I've done a review of the Duke 790. It didn't go as planned, let's put it that way. In, in fact, it didn't go as planned in two respects. Firstly, the bike was nothing like I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be this spectacular, super duper machine. It's not, in my opinion. And the second thing is, it was absolutely pissing down all morning. And I was doing this a lot. Not dancing. Although, well, clearly I can. And I was wiping the water off my visor with the back of my glove. And in doing this, bonk, bonk, I kept knocking the camera. And I knocked the camera and it went just a little bit forward. Only counted forward on its angle a little bit. <laughs> and that's why you're going to get the video that's coming in next. Where you're going to see an awful lot of clock, clock, and leg, and hands, and mirrors, that kind of thing. So apologies for that. But it's not important what's in the video as such, the visuals. It's all about what's coming out of my mouth. So as long as you listen, then you'll be fine and you'll get the gist of it. Uh, it is pretty bloody quick, I have to say. I mean, I'm going to have to edit the speedo bits. I wasn't speeding, I just I think they... I can't think of a good reason other than that. Uh, yeah, it's very fast. Let's just say that. Anyway... Enjoy the video. And we're off. Now, where do we head to, I wonder? Where should we head to? Let's go down. Let's go down here. We'll head out to the dual carriageway. Put this visor down. So I'm used to being on a bike that is very, very different to this. I'd be in second gear now, whereas this thing, this thing could probably stay in first. A weapon. I can feel it. It just wants to go. Look at these stupid mirrors. Look how close they are to my face. Oh, there's one keen break. That's different. Quick shifter works. We're up into third gear. 45 miles an hour. I mean, I'm sure this this bike feels so different. The handlebars are closer. So I'm sitting much further forward. The levers are like right there. The engine braking seems quite intense. The seat is rock hard. My bike pops and bangs. They say this one pops and bangs. Yeah, it pops and bangs like my one does. My bike pops and bangs a bit more actually. Quick shifter works. It's so weird, the clutch is so short. It actually does blip as well, that's so cool! So we're in street mode currently. I'm still using the clutch. I like having the clutch. I feel, I feel quite, I mean I'm upright on my bike, that's a fact, it's a Duke. They're all upright. Okay, that's, that's the way it goes, that's their position. I like that position, that's why I've got one. Uh, so there's that, but this thing, I am on it. I'm on top of this thing. This seat is like a lump of wood. It is rock hard. My Duke seat is much more comfortable than this thing. I tell you what, I don't know how to pick up the speed. Wow. I did think it would be a little worse than this. Oh yeah, I've got an auto blipper. Don't forget you've got an auto blipper. Yeah, I thought it'd be a lot worse than this. Why are these mirrors so far? And the handlebars are so far back. I kid you not, this seat is rock hard. All the other people that have test ridden this bike, I don't think I've ever heard anybody say that. But then I suppose they haven't gone from being long term on a Duke 390 to riding this. Whereas that's my everyday bike, the Duke 390. When I say everyday, I mean I use it every day I ride a bike, not I use it every day. Jesus Christ, why is there so much play in that brake? That front brake lever is insane. There's like a no man's land. Ooh, shit balls. Wow. Hmm. Well, that was a bit scary. I lent it over a little bit on the roundabout there and the front wheel slipped out. Now that doesn't happen on my bike. And I was doing like 10 miles an hour, 15 miles an hour. It's not like this bike's going much faster than my bike at the time. It feels good, but it feels like it's on it all the time. It's very weird. I'm much lower on my bike. These brakes are shit. <laughs> this brake is absolute shit. 
This is KTM's own version of the Brembo. It's parallels nice, I like it. So out test driving the KTM Duke 790. First impressions. It's very hard. Yes, people, it's very hard. Everything feels hard. Let's go, let's go some squishing. Let's squeeze through the gap, shall we? On this brand new bike. Now this thing's got traction from what I understand. And that's annoying because it means the bottom of my visor isn't um well, that was alright. Well, that went well. That was a good clean getaway. We're up to 60 already. Admittedly, we're way down the rev range. My bike I bet in the dry this thing is a hoot. Definitely gets up to 70 miles an hour quickly, that's for sure. It is a bit more squirrely than my bike. At this speed, my bike feels much more planted. Now that could be anything. No, no, my bike feels more planted at this speed. This bike's very wobbly. I don't feel any engagement with this bike. That's really sad. Brakes are shocking. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel any engagement. The minute I rode my bike, I felt like we were part, we're a team. I'm not feeling like I'm a team with this bike. I'm not feeling anything from it. I don't think it feels particularly dangerous. I don't think it feels particularly fun. I know we're in the wet and I can't really raise the tits off it, but like that's quite addictive. But I can already do that on my bike. It just doesn't have quite the same, my bike doesn't go as quickly. Well, I mean, I've been out on this test drive for a couple of minutes. I could go hooning around for a while. I don't think I need to. I've seen what I need to see. Well, I'm going back to the KTM center and I'm gonna go get a coffee and say thank you for letting me ride your bike. Changed my mind, I don't like it. It's not that I don't like it, it's just not enough of a step up from my bike. The only thing it steps up in this weather is the power. Maybe on a summer's day, I'll have to test ride it in the summer, or when it's a nice day. Can I fit through that gap? Let's give it a try, shall we? Who knew I can fit through that gap? I do like this clutch. I like this clutch a lot. It's nice and short. I wish that's what my levers were like. So I've got KTM power parts voucher. I want to see if they got these levers for my bike. Because I could definitely do with them. My bike, you've got to literally, you've got to put your arm out and pull the thing behind your back. Thanks for watching, guys. What did you think? My camera work was amazing, right? Never seen anything like it. So then. <laughs> the Duke 790. As you probably gathered. I don't really want a Duke 790. I really don't. There's too many things that just... There's just too many things that I don't like about it. I don't like the seat. I don't particularly like that seating position. That seating position is not as good as the bike I've got. The clutch. Much better. A million times better. I wish I had the same clutch set up on my bike. That would be amazing. That's not worth over double the price. But it's an amazing clutch, that's for sure gearbox is nice the throttle is pretty decent but, you know it puts more go juice in and you go quicker that's that's a selling point of it the mirrors are crap the brakes are total crap i can't believe it i'm actually gobsmoked at how bad the brakes are on that thing like they are uh, appalling the, the dash set up all of that the indicator the switch gear it's pretty much the identical to my bike anyway so that's really not worth it either uh, and you're a little bit further forward. I felt like my hands were f were closer to my body. The mirrors were right in my face. You can you can slightly tilt the handlebar, slightly tilt the handlebar forward a bit. That would take them further away, but it's not great. So no, I won't be buying a KTM Duke 790. Not on my own money anyway. If someone wants to buy me one, I'll accept graciously. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to tune in next time. I love you, bye.